we just started our second leg of drive to Setu. We're just leaving Calcutta and headed towards Vishakapatnam, which is about 888 kilometers from here. We have one stop off first at a workshop just outside the city limits of Calcutta, where we'll get the car washed and cleaned and ready for the road. Even though we were already slightly behind schedule, I couldn't help but take the scenic route giving me a chance to show our lensman the city of joy through my eyes. After the city tour, we made our way to GIA Auto Sales in Kolkata. Now, GIA is one of Skoda's more recent service centers. Apart from the gargantuan facility, every piece of equipment in the facility is state of the art. From automated car washes to aseptically sealed paint rooms, Nothing was left out. That aside, there's also a recreational lounge where owners can kick back and relax while their cars get serviced, maybe shoot some pool or get in some time on that exercise bike. After a quick wash, it was time for us to hit the road again and say goodbye to Jia and Kolkata. But first, a much needed fuel up. We still had 800 kilometers to go to Vizag and our sightseeing gallivant meant that we were covering most of those 800 kilometers through the night. We headed into Vizag by the morning and even managed to get some sleep. So we're here on day 6 of our drive to Sethu and we're in the beautiful city of Vishakhapatnam. And while our car gets some TLC and Mahabir Auto, we have with us Mr. Venu Gopal who will give us a run through of the facility that he runs here. Mr. Venu was keen to know about our trip and spent a lot of time asking us about how our journey had been so far. One of the biggest things that we noticed at Mahavi Auto was the fact that they were the fastest facility that we visited. They washed our car, checked the suspension and had everything ready for us in less than an hour. So we've just left Vishakhapatnam behind. The sky is overcast, the sun is setting. We have about 600 kilometers to go to Chennai. Quite frankly, it looks like we were in for an all-nighter. Whereas Team West has already reached their hotel rooms in Cochin and are probably chilling right now. It looks like we are in the eye of the storm and within a few minutes it's going to start raining cats and dogs. We have another 800 kilometers to go before we hit Chennai. Uh, we are on a tight schedule. I don't know how we are going to make it. Maybe I had done something to offend the rain gods, but it rained relentlessly after that, almost till we reached Chennai. Low visibility meant that we were wasting pristine highways at crawling pace, which is really a shame. We are here at Gurudev Motors in Madurai, our last stop before we head to Kanyakumari. We, ha we have with us Mr. Wajid who will show us the facilities that they have here. The manager there, Wajid, was eager to show us the facility and explain to us how things get done there. Even though Madurai is still a growing city, it was pleasant to see the sheer size of Skoda's presence there. All types of cars for our cars, especially the old Octavia's and old Super and Fabia's. Still, we are continuing with the service. Spares is also regularly available. In terms of, we don't have a spare, just a uh, 24 hours for us to get any kind of spare. Uh, that's one more advantage that we, Gurdev Motors, is situated at just six branches. We are having six branches in the entire Tamil Nadu. So, we have a flexibility of spares at this. So, one of the spares is not available, max of 24 hours to 48 hours will reach us. With Madurai behind us, we set our sights on the Cape. It was another few hundred kilometers away, but we had barely gotten any sleep on the way and our nerves were beginning to fray. We finally made it into Kanyakumari. Three thousand eight hundred and forty-four kilometers, all to be here at the southernmost point of India in Kanyakumari. And where we are standing right now, is a few meters 
off the coast of India. As you can see, the coast goes along that way. And we are a few meters out of the coast in the Indian Ocean. We set off from here to Rameshwaram, which is where our Setu is that we've been driving through for all this while, where we're scheduled to meet Team West in a few hours' time, so we better get on the road. While we were at Kanyakumari, Team West was making their way down across the peninsula towards Rameshwaram where we were set to meet after a 7 day gap. The next morning, both teams together we awoke to the sun rising literally off the tip of the nation at Rameshwaram and what a sight it was, absolutely breathtaking. So Rameshwaram is essentially a tiny little island just off the coast of India and all that connects it to mainland India is a one two lane bridge. And look at this place, it's gorgeous, it's around 6am now, the sun is just rising. It's one of the most beautiful places I've seen, it's a narrow road that leads to the end. Seven days and more than 3,000 kilometers for both these Kodas, but we finally made it here to the Setu. Well, the Setu is actually in that direction, but this is as far as the cars can go. So we dumped the cars there, climbed into a jeep, and headed towards the Setu. Our 3,000 km journey in both the Skodas had been absolutely epic. We saw some of the most beautiful countrysides you can possibly imagine. And it had all been worth it just for those few minutes at the very tip of India. <laughs>